Hey retro lovers, welcome to Feeling Retro. My name's Dan, my other friend is Tom. You'll see him in most of the videos. I normally do the editing for the channel, but since it's a lovely sunny day here in Seoul, I've decided to make an appearance and go to one of Seoul's biggest vintage electronic flea markets. Now it's just down here on the right, but before we go into it, I just want to show you this beautiful stream that runs through the very center of Seoul. It's called the Cheonggyecheon. Cheon is a Korean word for stream. And the center of Seoul is about five kilometers in that direction. And just down here on the right is where the flea market is. Whoop, I almost got hit by a cyclist. You've got to be careful in Seoul, it's a busy city. Okay, you're going to run. All right. So straight away, this guy's selling lots of old vintage trinkets, old lighters, and you want to say all? Lots of old artwork. Over here on the right, she's got lots of old watches, old shoes, and it goes all the way down here, about 200 meters. And the more we get into it, the more vintage electronics we're going to see. Like here on the left. Look at these really cool green see-through stereos. This one is by Lotte. Lotte is a Korean brand. Very, very big brand in Korea, Lotte. They've got big sharp ones with twin disc players. It's a big boom box with a front loading mechanism. I like the look of this one. We've got some Pioneer equipment here. Another one of the same sharp with the original boxing. This is really old. They've got some old telephones. This is quite heavy. They've got a nice red one, green, black, beige, all of the gold ones, some more stereos. Gold Star, that's a very vintage brand. I like the writing on the front of here. High speed dubbing, one touch recording. And then in here, Stacked high, full of vintage electronics. Some of these brands I've never heard of, like Silver, Swaco. Look how old this Panasonic piece of machinery is. I think this is a tape player. As you can probably tell, I'm just a vintage electronics enthusiast, as is Tom, we both are. So. Most of the time, we might not be too sure what we're talking about, but we like to fix things, have a look around things, try and source things from places like car boot sales or Facebook Marketplace, or just make vlogs where we come and visit amazing places like this. I feel like I've come back in time. Look at this, Sony Sports 11, all weather. Is this a radio? Oh, it's really heavy. Wow. I wonder what this was used for, maybe the war? Oh, that's not a handle, this is the antenna. Look at that. This is another old Sony FM AM radio. National Panasonic FM AM, some more Gold Star equipment over here on the left. They have everything in here. Most of this stuff in here is older than me and Tom. Me and Tom are 30 years old. I think this is over 40 years old. And then over on the other side here, we've got some really retro phone boxes. You put the coin in the top. These are the coolest colors. We've even got some vintage fans over here. Some vintage artwork. And in here they're selling lots of old books, old Korean books and old Korean cigarettes. Wow, I've never seen this. They've got some pictures of the war on there with the cherry blossom. Or perhaps these, uh, oh no, this is Chongja. Chongga. Some old Korean calendars. There's truly a mix of everything vintage in this market. They've got some vintage toys up on the wall with some Japanese writing on the front. Who is this character? If there's anything in this video 
that you know information about, let me know in the comments. Me and Tom will be very happy to read your comments on this video and inform us of things that we don't know about. Even here we have some old Tonka toys. We've got a black one, a red one. And I know if you were to sell these on eBay, they'd go for about 30 to 40 pounds, I'm guessing. Again, with the really nice colors, this old yellow with a vintage orange. And here's a gentleman fixing anything. Anyo sayo. He's fixing all of the stereos. Over here, this says Chong Moon Jonja, something to do with an old doorway. And inside, he's got lots of receivers, it looks like. Lots more of these. Here we have some Technics, an LP player, or maybe they're all LP players. There's lots stacked up here. Inside here, we can see the motherboard. This is truly fascinating. Even here they've got lots of old Walkmans, Sony's and Panasonic's, some CD players, some Iowa. Oh, there's a Sony Walkman here. In fact, if you saw our last video when I got my Sony Walkman fixed, I came to this market and to buy a new belt for the Sony Walkman cost 2001 each on one which is about one pound 20 so this market is very cheap if you were to resell these on ebay in england they cost a lot of money this gentleman here is fixing some more old cd players playing some bangers go on mate national panasonic look at the size of this if you were to resell this in england it would be worth so much money wow this is heavy. There's lots more to explore, but I'm going to end this video here and keep exploring. And if this video gets to 50 likes, I'll upload the part two and then maybe there'll be a part three. But I know there's lots more interesting things like old colorful retro TVs, I'll even show you some of the people, some of the foods. So it'll be a really good video. So let's get this video to 50 likes. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. And I'll see you in part two and hopefully part three.